What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. Today we have an exciting video. We're talking about your pots. So a few weeks ago, I was on Instagram. Actually the electricity was out in our house and my wife was changing the uh, light switches for some reason. She is quite the electrician. And I was just like looking on my phone and I had an idea. Why don't I you guys send me pictures of your pots and we'll talk about them on the channel. And so we're calling it JTP critiques, even though we're not gonna really be critiquing, like I'm just gonna kinda talk about the pots, what I like about them, if I think there's any improvements, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be pretty positive. Some of the pots you guys sent me are amazing. Seriously, you guys, there are some phenomenal potters. You guys sent me some stuff that I would never be able to do in a million years. I wouldn't even attempt of some of the things that I sent you. So, this is probably gonna be a super long video, but we're talking about your pots. So we got them all queued up on the computer. Oh yeah, last thing, the Kickstarter. Go check out the Kickstarter if you wanna buy any of my pots. Once the Kickstarter's over, nothing's gonna be for sale for a while, cause I'm gonna be filling all those orders. I love your support. So let's get into the computer and talk about them. <gasps> Ready? All right, you ready for this? Number one, JTP critiques. So first of all, thanks so much everybody who sent in their pictures to the email. First pots, Jessica, Bl I'm also sorry if I butcher your name. Jessica Belial, Belial, Belial. So, okay, mugs, love the mugs. Love the colors, the turquoise, love that. Though The second picture is super cool. So the coffee pour over with the two mugs that match. I love that purple and how that drips in there. I'm, I'm gonna do my best to not just like love the things that I do. Yeah, super cool. Um, the handles, the only thing I would say to me, the handles could use a little refinement. They look kind of thick and chunky. Um, but love the glazing, love the colors, love the shapes. So, nice job, Jessica. Next one, we're gonna try and keep it to a minute or less per one. Austin Allwinger. So that first one, that turquoise, super cool coloring. Love the flex that are coming through in that. Looks like you got some coffee in there too. Next one, blue. Love that really vibrant blue. Once again, I, I'm picky with the handles and so I'd say the only thing that, I love the shape of the mug, the, how it kind of goes out and then in. Uh, but the handle, the handle against it, and maybe I just like a little lighter handle. So many things that are subjective in this. But thanks so much, Austin. Love those mugs. Okay, next one, Sophia Bays. Oh, when I got this picture, I was like, oh man, that is dope. <laughs> Sophia Bays, that is, I love that mug. I just love the light, like the little tiny tree. Uh, slab that's on top of there, really cool. Love the drips coming down, the green drips on top of what looks kind of like a mat. Um, that's either, that's probably not the plain clay, but yeah, love your tattoo there too on, on your on your wrist there. Yeah, I, I really love love that mug. Love the picture too, love the around the floor with the hand, that's a, that's a really nice photo as well. Thanks, Sophia. Okay, next one, Mackenzie Ella. Cool plate, got the plate, got a couple here, plate and a uh, couple bowls. Love that spiral in there. Yeah, that's cool. I've made a lot of plates that look a lot like that. Very cool glaze. Next one are these bowls. Love that turquoise, super cool. Great job, Mackenzie. Those look, those look awesome, I'd use them. For sure, for sure I'd use them. Okay, next one, J. Lean Surla. Got, a, they got the mug with a little fire in there. That's really cool. It's kind of hard to see that one. Yeah, so that design, with I like that design a lot. Like that glaze, that pinkish, like, uh, transparent glaze there. That's really cool. Like the, I like how it's matte and black around the fire. Nice job, Jay, Jaylen, Jaylen, Surla. Thanks for sending that in. It's dope. Oh, next one. Oh yeah, and if I know that you have an Instagram or that you sent me an Instagram, I'm gonna put it in here. Next one, Field, Field Baber, Baber? And his Instagram is at master underscore earthbender. So this, the picture, I feel like I like the mug a lot. Really cool blue, 
but it's hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell. So I would say the only critique I'd have about this is just the picture. Try and take a little bit better picture of the mug. So make sure the lighting is there. Make sure you're in focus. Make sure, um, you know, I don't know what kind of camera, if you have a camera or if you're just using a, a phone, but I feel like I feel like the picture could do a, lot, a better job of actually um, showing off the mug. But yeah, from what I can tell, looks cool. Next one, Josh Henslick. Look at that, that that vase jar is really, really cool. The detail in the glaze, the depth in the glaze, the I can still see the finger marks going up over there. Um, very cool. Obviously that you have done a lot of pottery in your life because that's, you can tell it's just very professional. Um, love the handle on the jar, really cool. Cool, great shape, great glaze, love it. So you can find him at JH underscore pottery. Whatever it is on the screen, that's what his Instagram is. Thanks for sending that in, Josh. All right, Haley McKellen. So you got a couple things here. I remember I opened this and I was like, what? What? It's a human heart. Look at that thing. Holy cow. That is one that I wouldn't even attempt that. Oh, you know what other, I learned, I learned, um, I have a lot of followers that are in high school ceramics classes. So all you kids that watch me, kids, all you high schoolers that watch me, shout out to you. All right, so her Instagram is at 420 dot underscore dot glaze dot underscore dot it. <laughs> so if you wanna type that all in and find it. But that is like unbelievable, that heart. Like what? Crazy. Thanks Haley. I don't even have anything to say about that. That's just. I tell you. Okay, next one, Gwen Aldrich. Gwen, love the teapot, super cool. Teapots are never easy, no matter who you are. Kudos to you, that teapot looks great. The hardest part about teapots are the functionality of it. How do they pour, how does the lid fit? And so I can't really see that with that, but so far so you're looking, looking good. The mugs, love the mugs. Looks like this one dripped a lot, which I obviously love the drips. Handles look good. Shape of the mug looks good. Nice, love it. Miranda Long. Miranda, we go way back. <laughs> um, she's bought some stuff on Etsy and her mom bought something for her on Etsy and they, but I've seen your Instagram, love your stuff. Your pottery is amazing. This the bowl is super cool. You can follow her at Small Town Clay. This looks like a floating blue or a blue or teal, some kind of mix, love that. I know you've been doing stuff with the state where you're from, which that is super cool. Love those, that white, that clean, that's super in right now. I mean, if you look all over across the internet, like super popular to just have white. I don't do a lot of that, but I'm sure it would sell. I love, you must've put wax resist inside of the shape of the state and it, it looks so good. You also must use one of those, um, Dirty Girls uh, wood tools to get that bottom. So I think those look really good too. Very clean. Love it. Thanks, Miranda. All right, next one. Daniel. Not Daniel. <laughs> Danielle. Danielle Wiggum. Wiggum Wiggum. All right, let's see here. Love that mug. Super cool. Um, carved. Love the handle. That handle is really good. It's probably the, one of the best handles that so far I've seen here. I That's a very interesting shape. I love it, I love that mug. That's really, really cool. Thanks, Danielle. Okay, Brandon Franks sent in this Raku piece, which I have a few pieces that look kinda like this, which that's really a cool effect. Love the Raku, if, if you've never heard of Raku before, it's not food safe, but it's a really fun and cool way to get super vibrant colors. It's actually pretty low temperature fire. So, cool, love that. All right, next one. Puget Sound, Puget Sound Potter, Hannah Nicholson. I like the I like the photograph, how it's like inside of the evergreen. It's kinda hard to tell, like the shape, I can't really tell the shape of the handle that well. So the picture doesn't do a great job of just like punching out the mug. Um, but I like the grayish glaze. Looks like there might be a few little like pinholes or something. Yeah, it's cool, I like it. Thanks for sending that in, Hannah. Han, Han, Han? I don't know if I just have these typos in here or what, but. Okay, Melissa Miller. So, Melissa 
sent this in. Um, I think you said something in your email about having some pinholes. The glaze is super cool. You can tell there's a lot of potential there. But yeah, those pinholes, those would kind of bug me a little bit if that was mine. I like the handle. The handle looks like it might not fit everybody's fingers. It's a little small. Uh, I like how it kind of drags off of the mug though, down there. Super cool ornament. Love the drip. Kind of wonder how you did that, how you fired it like that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. You should comment if you're watching this video, Melissa, tell us how you fired it so that it sat up and dripped off. Yeah, I, I would be curious to know that. Okay, Lenny Chong. Look at that marbled clay. I've just started dabbling and doing this and I really am loving it so far. So clearly you have probably three different colors of clay that you wedged together and then threw. So that's a really cool style. I love that agate wear or marbled clay, whatever you want to call it. So super cool. The handle, once again, I'm picky about the handles. I love the shape of the cup. The handle could use a little, a little bit of work, but yeah, love it, super cool. Sonia, that is a really interesting shaped piece. Um, I, I can't remember, you called this piece something in your email, but I can't remember what it is. It's very interesting. I made a piece very similar to this when I was in high school where I like pushed clay through a little screen so it would like come out with these little pieces and I made a guy's head. And so anyway, that just reminded me of that piece. Um, because of all the like little, you know, but cool. looks like a Albany Brown or some kind of glaze there. Okay, next one, Lauren Runner, low run. This is cool. Another thing that I would never even attempt, this like face with the leaves on there. Looks like maybe it's low fire um, with some under glazes and a clear glaze on top, but I can't say for sure. So yeah, that's cool. Something I would never attempt, but love it. Super cool. Thanks, Lauren. All right, next one, Helen Matson. So this looks like a like a fountain. So it must be plugged in, so it's like pouring water. That's really, really cool. What a what a creative idea. So it's like, a, these even look like coffee pour overs. So thanks, Helen. That is super interesting. Like one of the more interesting things I've seen on this so far. Uh, okay, next one, Will Wickham. So that first one, that mug, really cool. Super cool mug, that blue, love the two-toned, like the handle. The only thing I would say is it looks super, super skinny on the bottom. So I don't know if like, sometimes I think about if it's gonna get knocked over really easy or if it gets knocked, you know, sometimes if you have a super skinny base and a wide top, then it just makes it top heavy and it'll kind of do whatever. So that's the only thing I'd say about that mug. I like that texture a lot around the middle of this one, the blue and that, you know, um, maroonish glaze. Got a couple more mugs here with the trees. Looks like you got the inspired from me maybe? Making the cup maybe? Uh, like that a lot though, those are cool. I bet during Christmas time those would be super popular. These though, like I really like this. This looks like high fire, like either wood kiln, gas kiln, reduction, atmosphere kind of stuff. Like that a lot. Those last two are, I think are my favorite of those that you sent me, so. Thanks Will. All right, are we half done yet? Maybe. <laughs> um, Katrina, Katrina. Blue mug, love that. That blue on that bowl looks really good. The only thing I would say is that line, if you're gonna have like a line that's really stark between the blue and the white, I personally would want to see it like pretty abrupt where it looks kind of like there's like a little drip. And so I love, don't get me wrong, I love the drips, but I feel like the drips have to look intentional, whereas this kind of looks like it's gonna be straight. But that blue, love that blue, that bowl is like perfection. Okay, thanks Katrina. Next one, Bailey Ness. Holy smokers. Bailey Ness, at Ness.Creations. This is like gorgeous. Look at all this. With the jewels in there, the the gold luster. I, I, I love everything about this mug, this mug. Love it. It's like amazing. Shout out to you, Bailey. That's awesome. Be gorgeous. I don't even, I don't, I don't have anything to say about it because it's so good. Okay, <clears throat> next one. Emily Fortier, Fortier, Fortier. 
Sorry again if I butcher your name. Cool, really cool plate. You know, I don't know if you, you must have thrown this and painted it on there, but love it. That house is like really quite amazing. So nice job, that's beautiful. Um, next job, next one, Stephanie, wow. Yeah, I really like, I like the complexity in there. I like the different colors that you get. Yeah, Stephanie, I don't think I have a last name for you or an Instagram or anything, but this, the last one, the mug, that those drips seem, you know, I, I personally like it when the drips, when there aren't any drips before, but then after they do drip. And that's when you know that, that you have glazes layered on there, where this one looks like it was kind of dripping over before. So I love the complexity of those three vases, the first ones, that mug, I think the drips are, yeah. It's all, it's so personal. It's like such a personal preference thing. Like there's people that would look at all this and they, either they wouldn't like it or they would like it. So, okay, thanks Stephanie. Kirby sends at KS Ceramics underscore. So I'm not sure, is this like a salt and pepper shaker? Is that what that is? So I don't know if you, did you throw it? I'm not sure how you did it, but yeah, it's cool. Looks like you painted on some underglaze with maybe a clear glaze on top. Yeah, nice, like it. Nice job, Kirby Sends. Kirby, Kirby Sends, thank you. Uh, Jay, next one, Jay Cristaudo. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm just totally butchering that. This is really cool. Love the use of the recycled glass for things that are non-food safe. Love it, that looks like a floating blue or a blue reteal or something like that. Next one, that's very cool. Very cool. Looks like there's just a tiny little bit of crazing in there with where that glass is cracking, but love the brown up top to that green, like, love that, super cool. Oh, next one. Bailey Griffin. Potting underscore along. Potting along, love that. Okay, love this cup, love it. I mean, I am like a super, I love the water, love lakes, love waves, all that stuff, and this just like screams lake, wave, water stuff. Love the handle, love the shape of that handle, how it goes up and around, love the blue, yeah. Great job, Bailey. Bailey Griffin, love it. Okay, next one. Puria Mobasher. This is another one that I looked at and was like, yep, I could never do that. Never gonna do that. Not even gonna try. So thanks for sending this in, Puria. It's hard to it's hard to critique things that you like have no experience or ability to do. Like these are that's they're pretty amazing. So thank you, Puria. At Pur if you want to follow her on Instagram, I've started following I think her, I hope it's a her. Him, her, sorry if it's if I'm wrong. Um, Puria, I followed Puria on Instagram and it's a sweet account. That's just so different than a lot of the potters you see from around here or just, yeah, very cool. Next one, Francisco, Francisco, Francisco Embriz. Cool, this is really different. You know, you really accomplish the drips it doesn't look like it really melts together. I don't know if those are underglazes or what. It almost looks like it's like a white with a, two underglazes and then a clear glaze or something like that. I'm not sure. But very cool, uh, very cool style. Love the marbled. That, you get it, you killed it on that. Comment below, Francisco. How did you do that? Did you do, what kind of colored clays did you use? Did you use two, must be a white and a red clay maybe? And then, yeah, I love it. That looks just like, oh, I'm gonna go get it. Okay, I guess it doesn't look exactly like this, but it kind of looks like that wine glass that Mary sent me, where it's got the glaze on the inside and then on the lip. So, super cool, love that marbled effect. I wanna do it more. All right, next one, <laughs> Keegan. Keegan Tingling, Tingling, Keegan Tingling. Love the picture, must be getting that from some of my thumbnails maybe. Love the mug, super cool, love the spiral action. I haven't released that spiral video yet, so you didn't get that from me, but you learned it somewhere. Um, yeah, super cool, love the blue. Yeah, it looks really, really good. 
Like it. Thanks, Keegan. Keegan has an Instagram too. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Sorry if it's not on there. Cheyenne, Cheyenne P Peterson. This is super interesting. Got four pictures in one. I love the glazes, the orange and the blue, and the bowl. Yeah, it's almost hard to even critique this thing because there's so much going on. But love that alteration that in the top left picture, the alteration in that bowl is super cool. Thanks, Cheyenne, Cheyenne. All right, next one. Another one that I'm like, what? Sonia, Sonia Dat, at dat.sonia.works on Insta, on the Instagram, on the gram, the Instagram. Lots of gold luster, it looks like. This like looks like it's straight out of Beauty and the Beast or something. Something that, that's amazing. Is that all wheel thrown? Like, I just, there's a couple of these that I look at and I'm just like, speechless. So, gorgeous work. Gorgeous. I love that gold. Gold all up in my chain. Is that what that says? <laughs> I, I want to try using that gold luster because I see people that use it and it's just bomb. So good. All right, next one. Chans. Chans Alba. Love that. Love the combination of the white and the blue. That Those, those two mix really, really well. Like that hand. I love the thumb holder. The, uh, here's a Joel Cherico mug. I got one on there. Love that, looks like you got that on there. I love the base. Um, the only thing I would say about these mugs is that it doesn't look like the bottom is super clean, like the glaze to raw clay. Like that green one is perfect, um, but some of those blue ones look a little messy, which some of mine are messy too, so it's not like, but if we're critiquing here. Love the handles, love the thumb holder though. Looks like you got a great line for the lip. So that probably feels great drinking out of. So nice job, Chans. Chans, uh, Chains, Chans, Trons, <laughs> Chins. Okay, next one, another one that I'm like, what? I would never be able to do this. Mao Tustine. Look at that, it's like a dragon's egg. Looks like it's straight out of Game of Thrones. Seriously, love it. It's amazing, the scales on there. Mao, that's, Something, something special. The dragon. Those are cool. Way to go. I don't even, I don't even know how to. I'd be interested to see how you're gonna finish those. Like, what kind of glaze? What kind of paint? Are you gonna underglaze paint the dragons different color? Are you gonna? So that will be super interesting to see how those are finished. Um, and then little dragon eggs. Seriously, was that from Game of? Comment below. Was that from Game of Thrones? But love it. Nice job, Mao. May ya, Mao, Ma ya, la la. Hannah Mettler is the next one. Hannah Mettler. Looks like a little uh, pitcher. That's cool. And the brown. Love that. Next one is the mug. I like, I really, I can see all those little dots. Only thing I would say about that is that handle. Once again, handles, handles are hard. Next one is, looks like a little jar of some sort, lidded jar. I like that, like the lidded on there. Love the texture of this one. You must have carved out all along there. One thing I would say about that is again, the drips seem like they're kind of forced. Like it looks like it was dripping before you fired it, which is fine if you like that look. I personally like the glaze to drip on its own. Cool, super cool. Is that palladium or some kind of, um, I don't know, comment below Hannah. Tell me what, what glaze that was on that, that silvery metallic. Love it, really cool. All right, next one, Craig, Craig Burke. That's a very cool mug. Love the, just the flex of the different tone. Love the drips, so I love that when it drips down but doesn't drip off right around the bottom edge and it just looks like frosting or something coming off there. Love that. And then you sent this one, this dog. <laughs> this is crazy. Very different than your first couple of pictures that you sent. Um, but very interesting nonetheless. And then another mug, so cool. I love the mugs, love the functional wear. The dog is cool. I can't say I'd like put it around my house, but it's very interesting. Next one, Chasing Sunshine by Veronica. And she is at chasing dot underscore sunshine underscore by underscore Veronica. Super cool, love the leaf indents. Those are awesome. And, I, and that cup in the back, the one that says Happy Camp California, love that with 
the stamped letters looks pretty similar to a lot of stuff that I do. You obviously ha like the leaf indents, which I like those too. Those are really cool. I don't do that ever, but whenever I see anyone else do it, I think that's awesome. Love that, love the unglazed look where it's just a little bit of glaze in the leaf texture. And the handle, that handle is amazing. Is that an extruded handle? Love how it goes up above the mug and it's got the finger. Beautiful, beauteous. And there's another Instagram. Wow, those leaves, those leaves are super dynamic. Nice job. Tucker Olson sent in this vase. Very nice vase. I don't really have that much to say about it, just I, yeah, finishing it will be the, the, the finishing touches. Thanks, Tucker. All right, how many more do we got here? Three more! We can do it! Let's get to the end! Shh! Sarah Melger. S uh, sunflowers. Love those sunflowers. Those are really cool. Love the, I love the look of your glazes. Super organic looking. Really love the twisted handle. That's, I, I love doing that. I've done that in the past um, a lot. Very cool. That handle I like a lot. Looks super clean. Yeah, I love the texture. I like I like how it looks pretty thick on the bottom, and it's not just a straight circle bottom, but you actually have like um, looks like kind of chunky on the bottom, which is cool with the texture. Yeah, I'd be interested to know, Sarah. Was this higher? Was this fired in um, like mid range cone five six? Was it high fire? I could definitely see it being in a reduction atmosphere, especially this one. That one looks like a reduction atmosphere. Love the trees, love the mountains. Yeah, yeah, really cool, very interesting. Very aesthetically pleasing. This is cool, this is really an interesting, yeah. Sarah, you got really interesting um, designs and carvings. Really like them a lot. Yeah, I'd love to know what, what temperature you're firing to. Okay, next one, Alicia, at Alicia Knits. Got a little planter here, that's really cool. I like the, the blue to this must have some ochre or um, manganese or some kind of fleck in the clay. I like that a lot. Very cool. Thanks for sending that in. And then the last one, Deborah Anderson. Got some tiles with leaves in there. That's really cool. And they got a bowl. A bowl with the, uh, I wonder if, did you take some like a squeeze bottle and just squeeze throughout there? Yeah, very cool. Nice job. Nice job, everyone. Whoa, we made it to the end. We did it. This, what is this video gonna be, like 30 minutes long? Oh, all right, friends, we did it. We got to the end. We reviewed everybody that sent me a picture. Like, seriously, you guys, you're killing it. You're killing the pottery game. I love seeing, I love seeing your guys' work. Um, and. I, some of you guys just are blowing my mind with how good your stuff is. And I saw a little bit of influence from me, maybe, in a few different things, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for sending me those pics. It was super fun to critique. If you've never been in a class before, a lot of times at the, you know, you'll all get together and critique each other's work. And, you know, I, I wanna keep things really positive, but I also wanna make sure that, you know, you're getting better because, so if I didn't mean to say, if I said something that, you know, you were like, whatever, just use it as kind of motivation to keep getting better, because I'm always trying to get better, and if I hear somebody say something about one of my pots, or, or you know, like, oh, you could do this, or this, this, like, I always like to hear that, and I can always make things better and change, and so, thank you guys so much for sending me, it was so fun to do. What do you think? Should I make this thing a regular thing? Ask for more? For more pictures, if you guys ever want to send me any pots, the address for Moke Monkey is down below. And I would be happy to open it up and share it with the YouTube channel. And yeah, I'd love to actually hold, because it's hard to look at a pot and know, you know, is it really heavy? How does it feel on your lip? Like, how does it just feel in your hands? And so that's why if, if you ever feel the urge to send me a pot, I will definitely open it up on the YouTube channel. And, uh, share my thoughts, good and bad. But comment below, tell me if you think I should do this again. Uh, I've probably put more time into this video than any other video that I've ever done, just because collecting all those pictures, putting them into the timeline, like that beginning sequence of like, all the pictures took forever. 
Um, so I don't wanna do it again if you didn't get anything out of it. So make sure to comment below, tell me if you got something out of this, and thanks again to all those who submitted a picture. Keep on potting. I love you. Subscribe, like, comment. See you in the next one. Oh yeah, last thing, the Kickstarter. Go check out the Kickstarter if you wanna buy any of my pots. Once the Kickstarter's over, nothing's gonna be for sale for a while, cause I'm gonna be filling all those orders. I love your support. All right, now we're really done.